reading from the Covenant of Rainy Truth Ministries. Article 1 says, this place is chosen by Yahweh to put his name here. We have sought it out carefully and come to this place. We shall bring our families, friends, and loved ones. We shall eat and rejoice before Yahweh in this place. We shall bring our tithes and all offerings, including the lifting of hands and first fruits. Deuteronomy 12 chapter, verses 1 through 9. So be it. Number two, this is our Gibeon, our high hill. Yahweh's authority, which is his anointing, shall dwell here at all times. First Kings 9, 1 through 3. So be it. 10, we are lively stones, a peculiar people, a chosen generation, royal priests, and through the anointing we shall offer up spiritual sacrifices of praise unto Yahweh. 1 Peter 2, 5, 9 through 10. So be it. And 12. Yes. This house represents our secret place that abides under the shadow of Elion Yahweh, and we shall dwell therein. Psalms 91 and 1. So be it. And our scripture. Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Yah and rejoice before him. Psalm 68 and 4. So be it. Come on and put those hands together for your heavenly father. Welcome him into this place. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we welcome you into this place. Hallelujah. You're so worthy, Father. We lift your name on high, Father. Hallelujah. We ask you enter in, Father. You help us to give you a pure praise, Father. Help us to present to you a living sacrifice that you would be pleased with, Father. We magnify your name on tonight, Father. Hallelujah. We ask, Father, that you come in and move by your power. Move by your might, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you for your will being done in this place. We thank you for your will being done in this place. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your anointing, yes, covering every part, Father, yes. enveloping this place in the name of Yeshua. Yes. Father, we thank you that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper, and every tongue that is risen up against us in judgment yes, is condemned in the name yes. of Yeshua. Yes. For this is our heritage. Hallelujah. Yes. We thank you, Father, for that. Father, we thank you for your will. Yes. Hallelujah. Being done in this place. We thank you for your anointing our hearts and minds to receive on you on tonight. Father, we thank you that no weapon, Father, we thank you that no distraction, Father, we thank you that nothing will distract us today, yet your will, your word will go forth on tonight. We thank you for healing, Father, we thank you for deliverance on tonight. Father, we thank you for your word going forth and set the captive free. We love you, Father, we praise you for who you are. And we come together on one mountain, one accord, Father. We lift up our pastor. We ask that you touch him. Now from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, Father. That you would use him on tonight. That you would anoint him afresh, Father. That your word would go forth according to your will and your purpose. We thank you for what you're doing to him and through him, Father. We love you. We praise you and give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And we give you all the praise. Yes. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Come on, put those hands together once again. Oh, yeah. Lord, help Father once tonight. tough times and everything we face, amen. amen. We will bless his name. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory to your name. He's still worthy. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Even in this 
and the anointing of yeah. Come on, your Father, and God bless
easily angered. Yes. Uh, provoked. Not yes. easily provoked by anger. And we've been we dealt with that thing, and then y'all was telling us we as we walked this road, we said, listen, the only way you're gonna beat that anger thing, the only way you're gonna learn that, you have to learn that you walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, yeah. And so we said, okay, we walk by faith and not by sight. We thought, honey, yeah, we live in faith and we live by faith. And then we said, well, what really is faith? And so then we started learning about faith and went on and on and on. We found out a lot of bunch of whole bunch of a lot of bunch of whole bunch of a lot of bunch of a lot of bunch of a lot of stuff about faith. And one thing that stuck with us about faith was that double T in the morning. That double T was what faith is what? Faith teaches a tool. Faith teaches and faith is a tool. And we've been rolling around dealing with that. And we learned all kinds of stuff. We had other sword that's for the hammer was the the hammer was belief and and then we had our soul with the uh, word of God, and yes. we had the little, the little, uh, Moses making it up. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Moses was uh, putting our energy into it called faith. God works. He is good. Yes. And we learned that about faith, and we did. We had our faith dog. Those kind of people had to learn how to look through faith, because we walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. And, and, and we was dealing with that faith thing, and then, we got over there and we started learning about this uh, faith piece. Oh, well, like, first we have some definition of faith. Definition of faith. Definition. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, faith is knowing that y'all is and y'all is the reward of them that really to seek out the him. Mm -hmm. And we learned that the easy definition of faith is belief plus what? Working, working, working hard. Who? Mm -hmm. That's faith. Belief plus working, 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 working hard. Yes, yes, faith that you've been doing with that. And then last time we had to get down, get down, because we learned some, we learned about Shama earlier that, and, and we knew Shama was diligently. Yes. And so diligently seeking, we learned that diligently was just doing it habitually and put effort, all that effort, but not trying to, not burning out effort, but, but constantly mm -hmm. seeking, doing something, diligently, yes. diligently. Diligent and keep it and, and, and making sure that it's done correctly, mm -hmm. perfecting that thing day after day after day. And I was dealing, dealing with diligent because I, when I when I um, seek the Father for something, mm -hmm. and He showed me something because He has anointed me as a revelation. I mean, it just keep going. And I, I try to get every little verse in, every little <laughs> thing that knowing full well, and you get but one two in. Yes. But I keep saying, it's not right. It's just not yet perfect yet. <laughs> but I constantly seek the Father, constantly, diligently, every day, every second. Yes. And, uh, and I love that because he told us that. He said, uh, take heed how you say it. Take heed. Thank you, Father. <laughs> I'm trying to stick together. Yeah, I'm trying to walk. They need how you stand, at least you fall. Yes. And so he told us, and so, yes. and so that, that you mean that's a humbling thing, because we learned that about humble. Yes. I don't know so many classes now. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, but you're talking about lowering ourselves and constantly seeking the Father. And so when, when, when we do that diligently, every single day, I mean, I know I do it all the time. I mean, just 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 the other day. Yes. What did I see? 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 Yeah. I'm gonna go to the dentist. I mean, oh, go to the dentist. I got no money to go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. No. And I said, okay, Father, I know it's you. I don't want to be like the man that's drowning. Oh, see. You know, I'm signing a boat and all this other stuff to rescue you. And I'm sitting up there hardly no. Mm -hmm. I said, so I'm, I know I, I've been in the game long enough and you have taught me that the doctors are not an enemy of faith. Mm -hmm. If you think you sick and you bleed your heal of you, ain't nothing wrong with going to the doctor. Yes. That ain't saying you are not believing y'all. Mm -hmm. That's saying you're going to the doctor. Right. 
They, they ain't saying you believe you see. That's the right thing to do. The right things to do in certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. And sometimes y'all tell you don't go. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you do go. You're supposed to go. But anyway, I went on to the right. And, 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 and see, this is how I know it with y'all. See, I mean, just a little thing because I'm aware. I was sitting there and I was debating my mind. And then got this thing in the, in the mail. Who wants some what? They got this thing. In the mail, somebody said the mail. The mail. The mail said, "Yo, doctor, free screening, thirty-five dollars, clean your teeth, and all this other stuff for thirty-five dollars." Said, "You know, I know. Last time I went to the dentist, it was a lot of money." Yes. And I said, "Well, I kept, that's one of the reasons I kept putting it off." And I was like, "Well, is is this you trying to tell me to go to the doctor because I did not even my dentist money?" Mm -hmm. And so, and so I began to constantly. That's what I mean. Diligently seek out to him. Are you listening to yeah. me? Yeah. And then I was dealing with some stuff and. And, and all kinds of things. I have things happen that 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 just beyond ridiculous. And it was dealing with stuff. Yes. And then I was like get beat down. Somebody said beat down. Beat down. Beat down and, and I never, 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 never speak fast. Mm -hmm. I learned that. It took me a while to learn it, but I learned. Yeah. And I and I never I try ever, ever, ever to complain mm -hmm. to, to to the father. Because mermaid complaining gets you in trouble. Oh yes. And I learned about that. And, and so I, you know, I always speak slowly, and I'm like, okay, you know, and I, I was dealing with something, and then I, it just came, you know, I understand, I know how to hear the spirit, I know that inner voice, I know, that, I know that function in my body, and then I, I said, oh, got all these messages right here, they ain't got nothing playing, oh, they ain't got nothing playing, but the TV on, and I'm not even watching it. Well. And so I was in the room, and I said, well, you know, I need to stay off my feet, need a postal box, so I'm in the room, and in my room, I can't get the cable. Can't get the uh, internet, so I got I got uh, 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 Optimus Prime. He he's useless. You know I get, I got some stuff on there, but yeah. he was in the living room. I wasn't gonna get up and go in the living room. Uh -huh. So I had my hand did dandy. It's my hand did dandy. Hand did dandy. My hand did dandy. Uh, brand new, not brand new, but it's brand new to me. Cell yeah. phone that my daughter gave me a long oh, time ago. Yeah. And, yeah. and I was sitting up there, and I said, okay, let me see what I got on here. Yeah. And each one of my things on, on precious and up uh, and. Uh, Optimus Prime, the logos. I got a uh, thing called Faith, 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 Playlist. Mm -hmm. And I try to, and I put each messages that we dealing with faith on. I only got them all Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, uh, what's your Precious. Precious. I only got them all as Precious. Optimus yeah, Prime, he, he put it up there. But I only had three on them. Mm -hmm. On uh, logos. So yeah. I said, well, you know, okay, I guess I'll listen to this. And I tell you the truth. One of, the things, one of the things on there said, uh, now remember, this is how y'all do things. Yeah. One of the things on there said, uh, walk by faith. Mm -hmm. I mean, walk a little by faith. So I just hit play, and it was good. I was all into it. Yeah. And then somebody called me on the phone. Oh. But, you know, I was putting my tools up, and I was, yeah, you know, okay, I'm getting my faith built up again. And so it's the good stuff that big man was saying. Yes. And then, the phone rang and then I clicked over and uh, I think it was Elder Flynn and she was talking to me about absolutely nothing. Yep. <laughs> and I said, okay. And then, then I went back to my jam and then the phone had switched over. The phone side, it, it was going to let me listen to it. That, it flipped on to the next one. To, it was conscious. Conscious, have some kind con consciousness of faith or something. Uh -huh. I don't even remember the name of it. Yeah. And I, I don't want to listen to this. And I turned back. Well, I don't know what listen to the last thing I'm listening to. And then the stupid thing wanted to flip back that way. I said, I guess I need to listen to it. Yeah. And so I began to listen to it and it began to minister to me so much. Wow. Oh, you remember saying half the stuff. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh man, Father, you know, thank you. Thank you so much. And so then I got up and then I said the next day I, I just it just hit me. I said, you know, I'm gonna stop acting like a punk. <laughs> go on here, go to the dentist. So I went to the dentist, I called him and said, well, let me do this. Yes. I got to the dentist and they did what they had to do and I knew they just told me a whole bunch of stuff and and I, it didn't tear me down. Because uh -huh. I had to build my faith up and I knew a lot of stuff. And then I went on over there and looked and she said, pay for it and it was $30. There you go. It was $5 or less than other places I thought would be. Now, nobody don't know what that 30 means. Yes. But me. Yes. Because I knew it was supposed to be way, way more. Mm -hmm. And so I just, you know, I ain't trying to run out of the door. Yes. <laughs> I'm waiting to tell me, you know, well, you owe us about $100 more, Mr. McCall. Uh, 
Well, it's the third day. I just smile and say, have a good day. Yeah. I said, you have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that little thing, nobody else don't know. Yeah. It's like a little love letter between me yeah. and I my love loved one. Yes. That thing, let me know, hey, you did the right thing. Oh, so I did yes. the right thing. The right thing. And that's because I went back and used my tool. Thank you, Father. I yes. had been beat up. And if I had not used my tools, I would have got destroyed. Yes. Let me understand what I'm talking Amen. about. Amen. I'm what I'm talking about. Yes. I was all on faith with everything. You have to use your tool because faith is a tool. Yes. Y'all listen to me. Yes, sir. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. I had people on my mind praying for a brother that is ran out of here last week. That's <laughs> <laughs> a great day. I know we must be captured with a friend of the go. Hanging out with Brother C and the ninja ski. The ninja ski, that's all. The disappear and come back and be standing right in front of you. Yes. Where you came from? <laughs> brother MT do that too. Oh my goodness. That boy, Montreal, I don't know how you do it. So nobody sneaks up on me, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but Montreal is by the only person I know that literally can sneak up on me. Yes. I mean, I was cooking one time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back to the list. But I was cooking one time. I was getting down. And I went to turn and somebody looked on my shoulder and mm, would you? <laughs> 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 no, I'm going to let a Man, where you came from? Yes. You started laughing. Like, Father, yes, I got you. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> like a comic book. Nobody could sneak up on Batman. <laughs> and Batman, the only one you be talking to, and you turn your head, turn it back, you be gone. Yeah. So Batman was talking to Superman. And he said, he said, he said, bright Clark, and he was wrong. Oh. <laughs> that message. So well, that's what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> this is juvenile. So, so we've been learning about that thing. We've been learning hey. about the shaman. Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying? By using your tool, yes. it will build your faith up. Yes. And it will take you beyond your understanding. You don't know why you're listening to it. You don't know why. You don't even want to do it. But yeah, if you put your trust in there, he will give you the right word in the right season, do it so you can do the right thing at the right time. Yes. I ain't no hope my master because I just decided to give myself that title. No, I'm not a minister because I just woke up one morning and said, I'm a good minister by my name. All right. It didn't happen like that. Mm -hmm. There was trials, testing, and temptation, and all this other stuff. You have to learn how to use it. Yes. You have to learn how to use your skill. Yes. Or you, you're going to get beat up. You're going to get destroyed. Yeah. You're going to be in the middle of an army we're in the middle of a battle with a gun and don't know what to do. Yes. And too crazy to turn the gun around and bust somebody in the head with. Boy. You can at least hit somebody. At with. least. <laughs> Y'all listen to me. Yes. So we learned about Shama diligently. And then last time we learned about there were, there were some enemies of Shama, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. We learned about the enemies of Shama, which was being lazy, basically. Yes. Okay. Talking about slugger and mm -hmm. slugger, slopper, mm -hmm. GP, all that stuff. And they were the enemy of Shama of being diligent. Yes. Y'all remember that? Oh, oh yeah. I'm trying to remember the definition of lazy we had. Uh, lazy was somebody who avoids work or physical exertion. Then slothful is inactive, sluggish, lazy, idle, and he that in work is a brother to him that is a great waster. And we read all these scriptures being sluggish and lazy, moving slow, doing it when you want to do it, all that stuff. Yes. That is so dishonorable that it's a, such an enemy of diligence. It's such yes. an enemy of Shema. And we ain't supposed to be living by faith, but if you if he can get you not to do one of those things that we got in this thing called that faith pill, mm -hmm. then you're not doing it by faith. All right. You may be doing it, but you've got an attitude where that ain't faith. You may be doing it, but you're taking your time at it. Doing it in that man ain't faith. Okay. We're supposed to walk and live. Everything we do, we do it as unto y'all. And the only way we can do it as unto y'all is what? By faith. By faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yes. So everything we do, we're supposed to do it by what? By what? Faith. faith. By faith. By faith. I mean, it's been so many times I've been wanting to explode. Ooh. So many times I just want to do evil for evil. Yeah. And I used to be evil joke. I could think of some terrible things. Ooh. And so many times. Hey, you know that verse what I like what we read last time when you think of something eat, put your hands over your mouth. Oh, yes. So you know we end up saying it mm -hmm. and doing it. Anyway, we had a faith pill. Faith pill was what? Shama plus oil instruction plus word of God. Yes. That's the faith pill and that's hearing. 
That's all that add up to hearing. In order to hear, you got to have shama mixed up in there. Shama is hear, listen, and obey. All instructions, which is basically a word of faith. And then you have the word of God, which is rain. And I gave y'all the wrong scripture for that. I don't know if I gave the wrong scripture, but I had it written down in Romans 1 and 7. But it's really Romans 10 and 17 yes. for the word of God. It's the same as for the scripture. Okay? And so all of that, so so the word of truth comes. So that's the word of truth comes. Word of truth comes. The word of truth comes or develops once you receive the word of faith. It is that same word. Mm-hmm. You want to see how that word real quick? Mm-hmm. You got a faith pill. Everybody remember the faith pill? Oh, yeah. Got that faith pill inside inside the faith pill is Shama, mm-hmm. which is listen, hear, and obey, or hear, listen, and obey, hear, listen, and obey, hear, listen, and obey, mm-hmm. which is it, which is which is communication and understanding and doing it mm-hmm. with the right attitude, and that's Shama. And then you got oil instructions. Mm-hmm. What's that oil instruction? Oil instructions. You got oil instruction, which is the word of faith that we preach. So yes. that is a preacher preaching you word of faith mm-hmm. and then you have the word of God which is the gospel because that's how you have to hear the word of God you they are preaching what, what God says right 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 and then that's when you hear it because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God so you hear this thing called the word of faith it gets in you and it transforms into the thing called the word of truth that's why the spirit of God is called the spirit of truth. It transfers into the, the spirit of truth. Are you listening to? Me? Yes. The spirit of truth. So when you receive it, you turn into this new creation. Uh huh. Watch this. Okay. But y'all, y'all, y'all are looking funny. Romans ten and eight. Romans ten. If you have your scriptures, read it. Yeah. Do you have scriptures tonight? I got it. Romans 10 and 8. Come on, Mr. One. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart, thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach. Which we preach. That word of faith, that's what they are preaching. Mm -hmm. That word of faith. That word of faith. I said the word of faith. The word of faith. That we are preaching. Now, go to James 1.18. James 1.18. Y'all rolling with me tonight? Oh, yeah. Y'all understood what I just said? Yes. I don't hear it one yet. Sure. Do y'all understand that? That word of faith. That's the faith pill. That's preach. I want to see. I want you to understand that it's preach. Okay. The word of faith is preach. Okay. Uh, 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 come on, Mr. Warren. Of whom will be gathering us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Of his own will we got he us with the word of truth. That we should be the kind of first fruit of his creatures. Mm-hmm. So that means uh, his own will. In other words, we receive that's from every good and perfect gift come down. Yes. Once that word is received, it transform us. The scripture called that the renewing of the mind. Uh-huh. It transform us in, into a new creation. And it's the word of truth. It's that same word. That's mm-hmm. like, that's like the, 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 the logos become the rainbow. Yes. Or the rainbow become the logos. Rainbow is right now word. A, what, what is a right now word? A right now word would be come. Come here. That's a right. If I look at Ellison, I say come here. And she, 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 she that's, that's a rhema word. Mm-hmm. Right now word. And then she write down in her notes, Pastor said, come here. Mm-hmm. So tomorrow she look at it, she see Pastor said, come here. Mm-hmm. That's become a, a logos word. Yes. That's the last thing that she, word, last word she got from me. Mm-hmm. So that's the last word. And sometimes the last word can become a rhema word when you have to do it. Oh. So you read come here and you have to come here. Now that that rhema, that lamp, the logos come became a rhema. Yeah. You understand that? Yeah. That's how the word works. That's how that's it's the same word, same word, same word. Let me show you, you gotta get this. I gotta get this. I gotta got got to get, get this. this. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. So I'm gonna do this other thing first. Ooh, what are we really doing? 
Well, y'all know I've been dealing with. But why, why I'm talking before I get there? Not before we get there. Before we get there. Oh, let's go to, let's see, I think it's the, oh, I'm going to do something. Hmm. The pump Make sure I'm on the right spill. It's good. Are you ready for this? I've been on this tip for for a while. Yeah. Proverbs six and six. I almost said that. I've been on this tip. I really have been mm -hmm. for a while. Nelson Buana has just pushed it over the edge. Mm -hmm. Just really, really brought it out. Yes. And I have been out of control. Yes. Y'all heard the Romans? Nope. I mean, I'm sorry, Proverbs. Yes. Proverbs 6, 6, without that last one. Yes. Proverbs 6, 6. Come on, read it. Go to the end. Thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Go to the end, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. So we know the slugger is the enemy of Shama. Yes. Shama is one of the main ingredients in this in the faith pier, what oh, we yeah. need. And so it said, go to the end. Consider her ways. And I looked at that word consider, which I already was trying to do. Uh -huh. I just want to have something to tell you. Okay. It, it means to inspect, it's the word rod with H. It means to see, look at, inspect, perceive. To consider, in other words, to ponder or meditate mm. on the end. Are you, are you listening to me? Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yes. Tell us the slugger, you need to look at the end and help. And so I know what a slugger is. Y'all know what a slugger is? Yeah. I'm talking about that. Lazy, <laughs> slugger, that's a slugger. Yes. Yeah. So I said, I need to, if I'm a slugger and it's stopping my faith from building, I need to look at the end and consider the ways. Yes. And I know when y'all say stuff like that, that, that when you say consider the ant and, and, and thou slugger, and, and, and the slugger is a hinder from the word, that, and the whole kingdom of heaven is in the word, mm. then I know that I can look at the end and learn a lot of things. Yes. You're not in scripture a bunch of times. Mm. And so I began to look at the ant. Just remember that ant. I, I check this out now. It's, this is interesting. Y'all, y'all, y'all here? Yes, sir. Y'all gotta check this out now. Check this out. Okay. It said, I'll read the either part of that. It said ants. Somebody say ants. Ants. Ants secrete this substance called pheromones. Yes, that's the word. What? I'm sure how we do it in Canada. Yes. Might say, another rubber tree. Oh, they build another rubber tree. Yeah, what do you say? Mm -hmm. Mr. Morton. Yeah. Um, get ready to check your email. Yeah, let me tell you like this right here. I'm not going to read all this stuff. <laughs> Still goes another rubber tree plant. Still goes another rubber tree plant. What is this? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Serious talk, man. I, the, the, it, it is amazing the thing. The, the picture that Minister Warren had put up with that ant. Man. I got to get it, man. I look at it every day because it, it, it helps my mind. It helps me get to a place. And um, thing with things like that, like uh, Chanel got that poster with Batman. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I feel like giving up or I just can't take it, I look at it sometimes and I say, I, I can't let God come down. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, um, I look at it and it gives me inspiration. I mean, it's so tight, I, I actually make a, so I a couple other stuff, but I guess you recognize it. Got, got Batman in front of me, chilled up in the background. And it gives me inspiration. And the one, she got another one with Wolverine. And I look at it. And it says that I, I recover quickly. 
Are you listening to me? Oh, yes. And so I, I take those things and I take it to heart. And this, that's what that slugger thing did. I look at it, if you look at his face, so I was going to put it on pressing, but I mean, I was going to put it on, on, on. I was crying there, but I was going to crank up. He ran out of juice for some reason. No. So uh, I got kind of upset with that. I don't got this! <laughs> hey, now, Mr. Warner, you see that, that big metal thing that say ants? Mm -hmm. On the ants, it starts to ants to secrete a substance we get. Okay. Ants secrete substances called pheromones, which are chemical messages detected by other ants through sense organs or the antennae. This process called chemoreception. Well, the people was Okay. Let me have a mind. We're talking about these things called ants. Uh-huh. Ants, they say, re uh, uh, release this substance called pheromones. Mm -hmm. Somebody say pheromones. Pheromones. Yeah, I'm going to have to have fun in the beginning. Now, pher pheromones would be the, the, the word of faith or the hearing or, you know, that seed that goes out, that word of faith, of the faith peel. Uh -huh. Those just consider that pheromone. Okay. Word of faith, hearing. Word, it's a word of truth, word of faith. That, that pill we talked about. Uh -huh. Are you with me? Yeah. That's the faith pill. It goes out. Yeah. Consider the end. I said consider the end. Consider the end. It said not, not, it, it secrete this thing called pheromones, which are a chemical message. Somebody said a message. A right. message. De detected by other ants through sense of organs and antenna. This process is called chemo reception. So the ant uses its antenna to receive this message. Yes. To receive a message. It's called chemo reception. No. Go ahead and start in the, the first scene. Chemo reception. Read that. Chemo reception is the biological recognition of chemical stimuli by which living organisms collect information about the chemistry of their internal and external environments. Chemo reception has three sequential stages, detection, amplification, and signaling. Mm -hmm. So basically it says that that process of called pheromones, which is what? The faith pill. Yeah, the faith pill. It has a process in it called chemo reception. Uh huh. I said chemo reception. Chemo reception. Chemo reception is would be shama. Shama. Okay. Somebody say shama. 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 This basically breaking down the faith pill. That, that, that was so amazing about this. Are, are you listening to me? Yeah. It said chemo reception has three sequential stages: detection, amplification, and signal. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yeah. So it's three stages to this chemo reception. What is chemo reception? Chemo reception is when the antenna or the ant picks up something. Okay. We're going to tell you what that is. Okay. We know that pheromones, that the ant communicates by pheromones. Uh huh. Because you ever see, you ever wonder how ants know where to go? Yes. And all this other stuff. They do it by pheromones. Yes. Uh, are you with me? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to show you this. Y'all look like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Mr. Warren. Mm -hmm. Back up to, you see where it said ants? Now you say that, I read this. It said ants release a special type of chemical called pheromones. By smelling the pheromones, other ants are able to follow the scent trail to food, protect their young, or even protect each other in the event of danger. Uh, that's that's self-explanatory. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. so, so we're talking about the ants. We're talking, we're talking about, about the ants. ants. So there are three forms to chemo reception. There are three stages of it. Mm -hmm. On your faith pill, there were three stages to your faith pill. 
Uh-oh. You remember your faith pill was made up of shama? Yes. Somebody say shama. Shama. It was made up of what? Shama. Mm-hmm. It was made up of what? Word of faith. Word of faith and the word of God. The word of, word of God consists of uh, rhema mm-hmm. and also all instruction. Yes. That's what it was. All instruction which would be word of faith mm-hmm. and the gospel. Now over here it said detection, amplification, and signal. Those yes. are the three things on how chemo reception work. Okay. The, how the antenna picks up stuff. Yes. In other words, it's just like us smelling. This is how the ant smells. It communicates by smell. This is how the ant smells. The first thing it do is called detection. Read detection for me, Mr. Warren. Detection. The antenna of ants attracts and hold on to smelling certain smells or molecules. These smells also cause the antenna to change shape. So, y'all listen to me? Yeah. I wrote this down as simply as I could. It said that detection is when the antenna of the ant picks up a certain smell. Mm-hmm. Not just any smell, but a certain smell. A certain it got to be certain smell or, you know, or certain molecule. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. When it picks up those molecules, the antenna start changing shape. Wow. It'll change its shape. It might be just a little hair on the antenna, but it'll change shape. Are you yes. with me? That's called detection. Somebody say detection. Detection. That's called detection. Now remember, this is how they make this thing called pheromones. To us, it's like the faith, the, the faith pill. Okay. Now what would faith pill be? What would detection be in the faith pill? Hmm. Well, of course, the faith pill would be hearing. Because uh-huh. inside the faith pill, mm-hmm. you have shama. Okay. Shama is chemo reception. Okay. That's the ant picking up the antenna. That's shama. Listen, hear it, and obey. Mm-hmm. That's the first step of the faith pill. Okay. Now, inside the shama, you have what? You have hearing. Nope. Hearing is mm-hmm. communication. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So detection would be communication. Yes. Gotcha. Excellent. Y'all follow me? Yes. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you got the antenna of the ant. The antenna of the ant smell, a certain smell. It's just like Superman. Superman can hear everything, but he chooses to hear only certain things. Mm-hmm. So Jimmy Olsen, Superman gave Jimmy Olsen this detect this, this little thing on his watch. Whenever he get in trouble, he matched his button and Superman hear it. Mm-hmm. Now Superman flying all over the world here, everything at the same time. But when that watch go off, he does something. It, it changes him. Yeah. He stops it. Er, Jimmy's in trouble. Let me go up him. Wow. That's the same concept. It was like us. When we smell, smell is just molecule. Uh-huh. When we it stick to our nose, like, ooh, that stink. Ooh, that smell good. Uh-huh. It activates something in us. Yeah. Okay. That's the, that's what the, that's what the ant has tells us for. Are you with me? Yeah. So detection would be the same. It, it's the same order. Detection would be uh, 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 shama or the first part of shama, which is hearing. Okay. You got it right. Yes. And we know hearing to be communication. First part of shama is communication, right? Yes. Let's listen here and obey. Woo! Amplification. Come on, Mr. Warner. Amplification. The energy from the changing of the antenna turns into a biochemical or electrical signal. So when the antenna starts changing, remember when the the antenna smells a certain smell, it starts changing. So the energy from it changing or when it starts moving around produce a chemical or a biochemical signal. Uh Do you understand that? Uh It's just like it's just like uh, when you start rubbing your hands together, you feel heat. Mm-hmm. The heat that coming off that it was is a type of energy. Yes. So when the antenna moves, that energy that is like heat, the energy from the door produce a certain type of signal. Okay. So that's a signal. Somebody that's a signal. A signal. It's like turning on the switch and the bat light come on. Mm-hmm. Look, Batman. Somebody activated the bat signal. It's like when Spider-Man shoots as well, he don't just, like on TV, he don't just, in the movie they had him just 
he don't come out. He mad. He got things in there. He mash it. Yeah. He got to mash it a certain way too. Mm -hmm. And he mash it a certain way to do a certain thing. So it's just like that. When 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 that signal, when that antenna move a certain way, a certain signal come out. Mm -hmm. Every signal ain't the same. Got it? Yes. And that amplification is called listen. So in Shama, when we hear something, it's communicate. When we communicate, we uh, when we understand it, that's listening. So if I say come here, somebody say come here. Come, come here. here. If I say come here, you heard it, right, big money? Right. I said, Jarrell, come here. He heard it, that's he heard his name, so that activated a sound in him. Mm -hmm. And I say, come here, he understood it. And he said, okay, that's communication. So that's the process, the same thing. Chemo reception and, re and detection and amplification. Mm -hmm. So it takes the smell mm -hmm. and by it moving, it turns it into a signal. Electromagnetic signal or, or we say, but it don't matter, it, it turns into a signal. Now that signal, come on, Mr. Buono. Signaling equals the biochemical slash electrical signal pheromones is transformed into a physiological or behavioral response. So when they get that signal, it causes their behavior to change. Yes. Are you listening to Yes. Them? Or it causes them to be transformed. Yes. It's like, it's, it, it, it would be like this. Billy Baxter, a regular human being, uh -huh. he walks down the street. His eyes picked up danger. Somebody said danger. Danger. He picked up danger, and he and he looks at it, and that 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 would be okay. When I see danger, I got to do something. Uh -huh. So he said, I, I got to activate Shama. Shama mean he looked at that situation, and he said, Oh, I understand it. I I, I hear I, and I amplify the signal. I listen. I, I understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. You understand that? So that's the texture amplification. Then he, he, he sees what's going on, so he says, Shazam! And he turns into Captain Marvel. Yes. And somebody was saying, Shazam, that activated a signal that transformed him to do something. Uh -huh. So now he's able to do what he heard and know to do. In other words, the ants, yeah. when they get that signal, something happened to them, yeah. and they are now equipped to do whatever they're supposed oh, to do. Wow. Yes. Like, yeah, he said, I will give you the strength to do whatever he tells you to do. Oh, wow. That is powerful. So when you get that faith pill, I can do all the things through Christ with strength to me. When you get that faith pill, you can do whatever y'all tell you to yes. do. Something in you, that that word, that word of faith change into the word of truth, uh -huh. are now a new creation. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. That's good. So, so, so over there, you have that. Are you listening to me? Uh-huh. So yeah, that going on. We finished. Now remember the faith pill. The faith pill. The faith pill. The faith pill, first part was shun. Listen here and obey. The next thing we got, let's see what happens. After, so faith pill. Remember, there's some more parts of the faith pill. Uh -huh. There's some more parts to the faith pill. Yeah. Shama, oil instruction, word of God. Yeah. Right? Right. So it's a more part to this thing that we're calling pheromones. Pheromones. The chemo reception was just the first part, the shaman. It is here on the uh -huh. Okay. Now, come on, Mr. Warner. Go down to, let's see. We read uh, the process is called chemo reception. Now, Go, oh, let's read the next part. It is the primary, come on, read that. Chemo reception is. Chemo reception is the primary communication vehicle that facilitates bit attraction, canon, and non canon recognition. It is also used to discriminate between egg, larva, and pupa as warning signals. Recruitment to defensive action or a new food source, the laying of odor trails 
from unreached workers or scouts on their way home or feed an entire colony to a new location and delineation of territorial boundaries. So what all they said wow. is that that's, that signal that they laid it, it is written, that's what it's called, uh, the, get the name right, the pheromone thing. Pheromone, 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 pheromone. And so the pheromones, each of them have different smells. Mm -hmm. And according to what the ant's supposed to do, they pick that, 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 that direction or that signal up, and now they transform to do certain things. Yes. Some of them, they're made to get food. So if they're walking, that they, they get that certain smell, oh, I gotta go get food, so they go get food. Yes. So, uh, so when the ant finds the food, you'll see, they'll show here, the ant get on the food, and he'll, he'll rub it with his hand, his yes. arms, and he'll rub it with his antenna, and then by doing it, that's, that's almost like sitting out the signal bar, that start the process. He's sitting that signal out. The other ants could be way over there. Then they smell that signal. You'll see them turn around and start coming. Yeah. But it's not every ant. It's only the ants who's supposed to do that. Yeah. How do they know that? Because it's built within their DNA. Oh, they already wow. know what to do. Yeah. And y'all say he told us he'll put his word in our hearts. Yeah. He said, my sheep hear and know my voice. So when the babies need to be taken care of, it's, it's a signal boy. Same thing. That's yeah. how they get it. Oh, the babies need attention. Why are they equipped to do that? Yeah. Oh, the, the queen need help. Oh, we are under attack. It's the certain signal go out and only certain ants go to it. Yeah. All the ants don't do everything. Wow. They pick up that signal. Yes. They're just like the word of Yah, those seeds that, that we're calling the face seed. It mm -hmm. goes out. And different smells and different ones and different people picks up everything. So you may not be called to do this, but you're called to do that. Yeah. He need, he calls somebody to preach. He calls somebody to teach. He calls somebody to sweep the floor. He calls somebody to go to the store. Wow. So something hit you, or say, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. You already know that. Mm -hmm. And so something inside you, the scripture called that an unction. Yes. You got an unction from the Holy One that no man need to teach you anything. In other words, you know this stuff. Yes. But somebody got to tell you what it is. Somebody yes. got to sit in that signal out. Somebody got to preach. Yes. Uh -uh. I said, preach, preach. Preach. Now, now, now come on here. Sit with the hand. Sit with the hand. Check this out. It says here that. Yeah, I'll tell you. Chemo reception, which is shaman, is supported, y'all listen to me? Mm -hmm. Is supported by tactical acoustic and visual communication. In other words, the shaman has other parts to it that helps it out to become a word of faith. Which we know, in other words, a faith pill got shaman, and shaman got other stuff to help it out. Uh -huh. To help get that message, the hear this and obey to the right thing. And that's what all instruction in the word of God. That's how to make it that faith pill. And so this this thing, this this ability, this this, this visual communication and all uh, and the hearing and all this stuff, mm -hmm. they all break down into certain things. The all instructions of the Word of God, go to Romans 10 and 17, if you know the way. Romans 10 and 17. When you get it, Mr. One, go ahead and read it. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So that's all instructions. And that, that's over here, that, that's the acoustic, they hear it. Then you got visual communication, James 2. All this is in your seed faith, all this in, the, in that faith seed. Uh, I mean, I call it seed, faith peel. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say seed. Yes. All right, Mother Warner, James 2, 17 and 18. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. 
So we see faith must be seen. Yes. If it's faith is seen. Yes. And you say, why is that? Why is faith seen? Because it needs works. It needs you to do something in this realm so it can work. Are you listening to me? Uh -huh. So you say, show you so somebody say, I'll show you my faith. And he said, you got to show, I show you my faith by my works. Uh -huh. By what I'm doing shows how I believe. Yes. Dealers are seeking. You got to do something. And within that, that's the seeing part. Somebody said seeing. Seeing. So your faith peel, you, it ain't just like you're invisible. Mind. You got these things that makes up that peel. And I'm trying to get you to understand to see how it works. Okay. See, the ant. It has a trail, and even an ant knows what it's supposed to do because it picks up the right signal. Uh -huh. You pick up the right signal, you're just not doing it. Okay, well. And you think you're living by faith. Did I see it? Did, did, is your faith seen? Mm. In other words, did you go to the dentist? Mm. Or did you keep saying, I need to go, I need to go, I wow. need to go? Wow. Did you do? Shop is here and doing, and listen, did you do it? Mm. Yeah. The answer is no, then it ain't faith. Yeah. See, these components mix, mix up faith. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. Mm -hmm. Now, the answer said, ten sends a tactical signal okay. by touching and stroking each other, bodies with their antenna and forelegs. So it might not just pick it up in the air, it might rub it on you with its, with its legs and its antenna. So it sends a message out. Sort of like a praise dance or whatever. Uh -huh. But I wrote down here the laying of hands. Well, sir. Acts 8 and 1 8. Read it, Miss Warner. You get it? Wow. Just like the ant put the antennas on you and the feet, which is with the hands. The laying of hands is how a faith pill is delivered. Wow. It's not just oral. But the land of hand. Act, Go ahead. Acts 8 and 18. And when Simon saw that through the laying of the apostles on the laying of the, and when Simon saw that through the laying on of the <laughs> apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. So you see the Holy Spirit was given through what? The laying of a message was given. A signal was given. A faith pill was given by the laying of hand. Go to First Timothy. I don't know if we got it yet. Go to First Timothy, Mr. Warner. Uh, four and four. You see it. I forgot I sent you the paper. Go to First Timothy four and four. First Timothy four and four. These are ways that I, that, that that signal goes out mm -hmm. or that faith. Peel goes out. I keep wanting to say C because it is a C. Go ahead. Is it 4 and 4 or 4 and 14? 4 and 14. Whatever's on that paper. Okay. First Timothy 4 and 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. So we see that a gift from God was given to him by what? The yeah. laying of hands. Yes. Another net message, another faith seed. All of these things wow. are faith seed. They're, they're backed up. It ain't faith yet until you receive it and do it. But these are how they're delivered. Yes. All that. As you know, in scripture, are you listening to me? Yes. In scripture, there's this woman, uh, and, and everybody knows the story. If you don't, it's a good one. It was this woman who was who who was Married to one of the sons of the twelve. When I mean the twelve, I'm talking about the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And she killed, she married the son and, and he died. Mm -hmm. And so one of the sons, I forgot his name, I'm okay, up top of my head. So, so his other boy and that said, well, you got to marry her. You got to, because the law says if the, if the husband of the wife dies, the brother got to go in and make her pregnant so the other brothers don't see, don't die. Mm -hmm. So you got to go make her pregnant in the name of your brother. So he goes in, and that's a marriage. He goes in to marry her, and he spilt his seed. Mm -hmm. 
Spill the seed means that I ain't having no kid for him, and he let it go on the ground, you see. And it was wasted. Mm -hmm. And y'all dropped him dead. Yep. Oh. And people wonder, why they put that in the Bible? Because so many words go out. And they're wasted. Mm. Every idle word that men shall utter, they shall give account on the day of judgment. They're wasted because you don't do it right. You don't receive it. Wow. You want to go through the process. You want to go through the 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 uh, and a roar and not give it up, give it up. But when it's time to produce the seed, you're selfish and you said, No, I'm not gonna have no kids. Just like this word going out. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I know that. Hey, but you're not living it. And then judgment falls. Yes. That's the truth in it, huh? Yeah. Oh, my. There's so many things the Father has told us in this ministry. And we don't live it. Man. And I see them died. And we sitting up wondering why we are no curse. You tell them the truth. All of, it, all of it got to happen. All of it got to happen. If that aunt don't get that right message and the queen is in trouble, they're going to all die. Because the queen died, everybody's gone. Mm -hmm. Come on, read it. Read it. I'll be all my time. It said, ants produce a high pitch chirp known as stridulations by rubbing together specialized body parts on the abdomen called fowls oh, and scrapers. Oh, that's freaky. Huh? That's freaky. I know, right? That's freaky. So the ants, they be rubbing their stomach yes. and making this high-pitched noise. Uh -huh. So they send them a message. Yeah. They like, you know, I, I picture like those uh -huh. ants. From the old school where you go to go to church and they had one of those scrub boys and that's how I picture, you know, we got and it says, we got So he make this high pitch noise. Come on, uh 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 wow. read, read, read. uh I call this out of out of your belly it shall flow. Wait, wait, what's the John the seventh chapter. John the seventh chapter, verse thirty-eight. Oh the, the ant scratches up, man. I call when when you should say, "Out of your belly, the rain <laughs> shall flow." <laughs> that message come a whole nother way. You see, we take all the things come out of the mouth. Yes. But it got to come out. It got to be delivered. Yes. And this is a method of delivery. Remember, you got or instruction, which is the word of faith. And you got, you got this ring of the word of God. In other words, that the word and the gospel. It, all that is entwined. We went over there in those things. Mm -hmm. In this faith field. Go on, Mr. Warren. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. So a lot of people think. That when a person feels that they feel the spirit, they're just falling out in the sky. They feel the anointed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But it flows from within. Mm -hmm. Have you ever walked past somebody and felt the anointed? Mm -hmm. Those who ever felt the anointed? Mm -hmm. And like, man, that a goosebump. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Some they, they do that with evil people too. So now evil people pass because they have they have been anointed by evil spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, they, and you like, ooh. Some people hear their voice and do that. Some people, they just see them and do it. And some people, they, they get close to them and it's something that's like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, out of the prophets of Yah and the anointed one, it flows from their belly. Mm -hmm. And why does it flow from the belly? Because it's a picture of what Yeshua did. When, when Yeshua well, came down, they used to have this thing called the, the, the uh, feast. It uh, happened, they did the water. And they go up to the top. And they have two different waters, one on empty and one on full. And we know the water is it represents the word. It said, wash, wash by the word, by of, God. The word of God. That's what the scripture says. It says wash. And so, and we know that the water, supposed to bear witness, is a type of spirit also. So they drop the water and it go down the stairs. Yes. As part of that. that when Yeshua said this, that's what they was doing. They had this feast going on. Then Yeshua holler, he that drinketh from me shall never thirst. Mm -hmm. Well, he said that almost in this particular one. Okay. But he also told the woman, he that drink from me 
to another thirst. Mm -hmm. Why he using that water? Why it got to come from? Because that's where the spirit abides in the innermost part of the man, out of the inward part. Mm -hmm. And people think mind and all this and that is where you make your decision. Your spirit abides on the inward man, right here. That's why sometimes you see me praying and I touch somebody in the stomach. Mm -hmm. Why do you know that? Because, because the scripture says that, that there's, the, there's a stream coming from your belly connected to the spirit. Mm -hmm. Come from your belly. I know a lot of people don't understand that. And she will tell you all the time out of the, out of the abundance of the heart the mind speak. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, he's talking about the mind because that's where we make decisions in. No, the spirit, he said, remember, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaking. So what's really overflowing out of your belly is your flow. What's really flowing out of your belly, you're going to start speaking. There you go. You understand? Mm -hmm. So even if I say that and I come up here and I do this and, and it's flowing out of my inward man, that's the message received. He's like, ooh, that's what I'm going to And then out of my belly, I start preaching and start going and, and you're like, oh my goodness, oh man, oh, that, that's the anointing. Yeah. And your life be chance, the anointing. But it, it travels all on that pill. You can't do it all. You can't do nothing without faith. That's the truth here, huh? Yes. We hear you, Pastor. Okay, good job. <laughs> you could do And then it says, stradulations are sometimes heard, but most often felt. The vibrations being detected by sensitive perception receptors on the leg. So on the leg, they feel something shaking. Somebody said something shaking. Something shaking. And then they say, sometimes hear it. Somebody, somebody say, he heard. He heard. He heard. So I put down, shake the dust. Ooh. Matthew 10 and 14. Matthew 10 and 14. Shake the dust. The message is delivered by the sh a shaking. Somebody said shaking of the leg. A shaking of the leg. A shaking of the leg. Come on. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Shake the dust off your feet. Shake it off. The message delivered by shaking. Y'all understand what I'm doing here? Uh-huh. Then I also put he that has an ear to hear. Well, this translation is sometimes heard. Everybody don't hear it. Matthew 10, 14, come on, that's one. I'm sorry, uh, that's Revelation 2 and 7. Revelation 2 and 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. I see that, that word right there, it wasn't for everybody. Yes. You say, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear. What the Spirit is saying to the churches, he that overcome it. So you, well, you got to be overcome. That's only for the overcomers, not just for you. Not yes. just for you who said, I ain't doing that. I mean, you for the tree of life. Now, if you don't overcome that, now you're not overcome. Well, there you go. Woo! There you go. You tell the truth of yeah, you. Know. Yes, you are. Okay. The young queen, somebody said the queen. The queen. Your queen. Congratulates <laughs> frantically during mating season to announce full sperm sack, deterring other would be mates and allowing her to escape to begin nesting. So she makes a sound. She starts frantically making a sound. And she said that I can't do nothing else. That sperm site is full. Yeah. And so that fools, are you with me? Uh-huh. Other people, other people who want to come and mate, other ants who want to come in there and mate with her. Uh -huh. they, they, they hear that noise and it fools them. Okay. And it gives her an opportunity to escape. Yes. Because if she don't, it's going to be a ugly situation. There will not be no children next fall. But anyway, she escaped from someone who's trying to catch her. And I put Revelation, because it was a queen. Revelation 12, chapter. Revelations. Are you with me? 
Yes. Revelation. Y'all get somebody this one. Very interesting. Very interesting. Revelation 12. Verse. Let's see. Go ahead and read, Mr. Warren. I tell you, just start at one. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. A woman, she's the queen. Yeah. I, I yeah. Go ahead, read it next And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. She's pregnant and she, uh, she her sperm sac is full. Yes. Wow. Do you understand that? Yeah. I tell you, go on down here to you see the devil get kicked out. Yeah. And then it says, go down to verse 13. Put in 13. Come on. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Uh, he persecuted the woman who brought forth the man child. We already know that man child was an issue. Right? Now he's down on the earth. And he's going to persecute Israel. Uh -huh. That's true. And what happened? She got a shake. Come on. For, for and, and to the woman, and to the woman, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. Yes. That she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, <laughs> where she is nourished for a time, and times, and half a time, <laughs> from the face of the serpent. That's all right, Anna. Yes. Yeah, true. Read the next one. And the, serpent. And, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, uh. that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Uh, he's speaking. Hey, come on, read next one. Yes. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Mm. Come on. Uh. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and had the testimony of Jesus Christ. There you go. And they show that that's Israel. And they say the commandments of God and they have the testimony of Yeshua that's talking about the church. Mm -hmm. And you see there, you know, that that see how the ant, the queen ant represent. Uh, you can see how it represent the church. That's amazing. Yes. She got food, she got escape, get out of jobs. Because someone who's supposed to be on the side is now coming to hurt her. There you go. The dragon was supposed to be an angel, but he he fell. Mm -hmm. And now he's coming after the woman. Because you know if he get the woman, that the seed will never happen. But yeah. she had the kid. And he's still mad because she had the kid. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that already? Yeah. Yeah. And the next one says, we almost go, I know you're ready to go. Drumming and body rapping are used primarily by tree dwelling ants. Drumming and body rapping. That's no reasons. I don't want to enjoy all it. But tree, uh, primary tree dwelling ants and carpenter ants. And about banging the head or antenna on a hard surface, sending vibrational warning signals to nest mates. So that's how the queen of you do it, you hang the head on the tree and da 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 da. And I put right here, I put down that the tree, where did I got it at? The tree are the ministers of God, and the carpenter ants are the apostles. Wow. Because then I didn't get a chance to get the scripture, but you can look it up. You just see that Israel is called the fig tree. I said the fig tree. The fig tree. And see here, their tree ants, the fig tree. The ministers of God are also the prophets. They were fit up under the category in the Old Testament. And also, I put ministers because his ministers are flames of fire. That includes angels and men. So angels will fall up on the tree because they are on a higher up in this, it just picture that heaven. Okay. So you got the angels and all that and the and you got the old testament the tree, you got the angels in the tree. All those represent yeah. Are you understanding that? Mm -hmm. And then you got the covenant ants which are on the earth, which is the church, which is us. Uh -huh. Why? Because Yeshua was the son of a covenant. 
And then the next one says, some large eyed species, such as gigateops, okay. can see form and movement. But vision in most ants is virtually non-existent and the least important of all their communication senses. What? Now oh. you got the Jagagiga ants, which are abomination <laughs> to the ant world. Oh. Just like in the old scripture it tells us that the the angels, or the watchers, made it with the sun, with the daughters of Adam, and they had giants in the land. These abominations, so these big giant ants can see. Yeah. And they did not support. They got knowledge before their time. Boy, also. And, and you look it up, and then you see also about these big, big head giant ants that, that you see that we're not supposed to walk by sight. They yes. don't walk by sight. Yes. They walk by faith. And see, that's, that's the point I'm trying to tell you. You got a signal in you. All the time it's talking. All the time Yah is talking to you. All the time the words that you hear is activated on the inside of you. That faith is activated. You hear it, you're just not doing what it says. A lot of times fear, which is what we're dealing with, stops you. I'm afraid something's going to happen. I'm afraid this is going to happen. I'm afraid that's going to happen. But Yah has given you all the strength inside of you to make it. I was praying to my father the day because Lord knows I do not want to go by ever in my life to a hospital. Yes. I don't want to see him in hospital. I was supposed to go get some tests done today and I didn't do it because I ate and I was glad I ate because I didn't want to go to the hospital and get no lab work done. Yes. But, but the point I'm trying to make, I was talking to my father today and I was saying, Father, you know me you know my heart. You know me, you know me, you know me. I will do anything. Anything. But I don't want to go to the hospital. I never said that before. And then I said, Father, forgive me. Because mm -hmm. I was afraid. I said, whatever you want me to do, it's done. I do. Yes. Cause I was acting scared. I never told y'all any time in my life something I didn't want to do. Yeah. And my mind kept twisting and turning. But I was thinking about the pain. And I was thinking about aggravation. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about how I was feeling at the time. And, and the things that, you know, doctors have told me. And all this terrible, horrible stuff. And I was like, what you trying to say? You trying to tell me I got to move back in? You brought me out just to bring it back in? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. What's up? What I'm doing wrong? What's up? Tell me. Talk to me. And I had to get in my mind. I like to you now. I looked down at the phone because I didn't even go and I had to play something. And I see walk by faith. Whoa. That was a signal sign. I'm not as that great, I'm not making this up. It was walk by faith. And I told my father, I am so sorry. Because I was walking my sight and didn't even realize it. Yes. I was walking my sight. I was afraid of the giants. Yes. And there were some big giants. And I've never been afraid of, of giants. But just like they said, the old man said, if you go to war, if you've been to war before, you don't want to go again. Now, if you care about life, a sociopath don't mind killing mm -hmm. and the suffering that goes on. But someone who cares, hates, hates war, deliverance hardship, delivering negativity. Y'all listen to what I'm saying? Oh, yes. And I know me, all the stuff the Father done told me to do, I've done it to the best of my ability, and I, I tried to get me out of the way. I was a learning curve, a learning process for me. A lot of things. And I seen a lot of people spitting that word away. 
seeing a lot of people not do that. I, mean, I, I even seen the father tell me to say certain things and judgment have fallen. And a lot of things that I, I didn't get no joy out of and I don't get no joy out of, out of any of this. And, and I understood that my joy lies within him. Yes. And every time I go to the swing a little bit, I bring myself back even more now. I, I, I try to stay in the now. Yeah. I don't try to think about a minute from now. I don't try to think about 15 minutes. I try to stay in the now. I, I try to do the right thing and prepare and do what I'm supposed to do. But at the same time, I don't let my mind just take me nowhere no more. I can't do it no more. I can't, yes. cannot live like that. If I'm going to live, I've got to live by faith. Yes. Like the song say, like not for me without love. I, I, I can't. And I got to live according to what he say do. Because he had never failed. You, have you ever blamed someone for something and they hadn't done nothing? Yes. Did absolutely nothing wrong and you blaming them. Yeah. It's oh. your fault. I ain't did nothing. Yes, you did. Yeah. What did I do? You live. You exist. Yeah. It's your fault. <laughs> and that's how you is. I have done nothing but take care of you. Yes. I have done nothing but love you. Oh. I have done nothing but honor you. I have done nothing. Why do you hate me? Because if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Because yes. every time you did what I say, there have been nothing but benefit. There have been nothing but love and joy. The only time you suffered was when you did, went off the path, when you did wrong. So don't tell me I've done this and I did that. What have you done? Yes. Don't try to throw the rock and hide your hand. You done throw the rock now. It done broke a window. You done that. Yes. I try to act like you didn't do it. Oh, my. And that's called living by faith. If it ain't perfected, faith is not faith. It can't be nothing left in out, nothing left out. It said, Scripture says, on that day, many are going to say to me, many. Now, y'all say many. That's a whole lot of people. Yeah. Did not do this. Did not do that. In your name, did not cast out devils. Did not do it. What do you mean? <laughs> and he going to say, depart from me. I Never. I never knew you. How can you say that? Is that like you don't remember your sins? You don't remember you when you walk away. One man said, I don't know, I don't care. But he said that he was praying and talking to God and Y'all showed him you know, that he's wiping tears from our eyes so that we won't remember our loved ones that are in hell or our loved ones that are suffering. I began to think about that. Thing, but I know I never read it nowhere, but he said that's what y'all told me. It was an interesting conversation. That's what he was talking about. And I was really good at that. How can you have a good time with someone you know is suffering? And I began to think, and I was like, if someone I love is suffering, I can't hardly eat. I, I just can't put them out of my head. I, I can't just let it go. I just can't act like they don't exist. I, when they're suffering now, I ain't yeah. talking about when they're doing idiotic, stupid stuff. I'm talking about when they're suffering. Yes. When they're being tormented, when they're getting hit. I can't have a good time and someone you love is in here. My wife asks me a lot of times, why are you looking like that? I be thinking about sometimes you, sometimes you ministry, and people that are just downright paving themselves a road to hell. And it hurts me. And I know y'all love you a billion times, trillion times more than you. And I saw him always come to my mind, do you still love me like you used to? 
things of this world mean more to you. You get more joy out of this world's pleasure than out of Yah. You need to check yourself. You laugh at a good time when he scored that touchdown. That made your whole life. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I woke you up this morning. He protected you from accident. He healed your loved one. And you ain't took the time to say thank you. You ain't took the time to say, I miss you. Every day my wife comes home, every day I see her, I tell her, I say, did you, did you think about, she tell my day where I say, did you think about me? Did you think about me? Even if she didn't, I'm going to say it so she can. Yeah. <laughs> I try to my marriage every day, and I'm telling you the truth. I don't slack her. Yeah. People, right. people be like, people oh. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Must have felt the coming, huh? Yes. <laughs> no, I freaked out. People be like, how you do that? How you been married? So I thought I fight every day for my marriage. Mm -hmm. Now all I got to say, tell you, she tell you right. How you doing? Yeah, uh, you listening to? Think about me? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought about you today. <laughs> oh, baby, <lady> long. <laughs> Missy, <you> look. <laughs> <laughs> but one, one of me. If I love my wife enough, and I can't fathom the love of the Father, it's unfathomable to me. I love her enough to want her to think about me. I want her to be on my mind all the time. And then I read the scripture, pray without ceasing. And I read, pray continually. And I read things like, pray that you be accounted worthy to us. I mean, how in the world can you not think of my father every day, sucking up every day? And people say, well, I can't do it because it takes time. You're trying to do it in the natural. Yeah. I didn't just get here. I just went to one morning and said, yippee! Yes. It took time. It took discipline. Why? Before some of you were born, when I was fasting. What are you saying, Pastor? Faith costs you something. It costs you your life. Yes. Hey, listen to him. Yes. It costs you your life. He said, he that tried to save his life shall lose it. But he that loses his life or give up his life for the kingdom's sake yes. shall gain it and more. Not only in this life, I mean, not only in the life to come, but in this life. He said, you ain't gave up houses, lands, and lands, or nothing that you're not going to get back in this life and life to come. So he tells us all these things, and we're like, well, I'm not receiving the promises. But you're not receiving them by faith. How do you know? Because I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. Let your light show the light. You can't hear. What do you mean? You don't see a light shine. Yes. Y'all don't hear me. Oh my goodness. You walk around, people don't even know what you is. And you can blend in with the cussers. You can blend in with the prostitute. You can blend because, because you ain't shining no light. Wow. Don't you know darkness run from the light? Yeah. Yeah, I come along and everybody gets the, the whole table get up. Yes. <laughs> what, what did I do? <laughs> you were born. <laughs> I was born again. Yes. Amen. Amen. I was why this is this is going to stop. There's one group of ants. Check this out. They're called the Pharaoh ants. The Pharaoh ants. Pharaoh ants. They call Pharaoh ants because a lot of people believe that they were sent. They were the ants in the Scripture. Oh wow. That. Uh, the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And I was trying to read. I was trying to remember the ants. I'm like, yeah, I 
And, and they believe that, but that, that they, they come out of Africa. And the reason I'm bringing these uh, favorite ants, uh, favorite ants, they, 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 they break up in the groups. Uh -huh. They're so big, they'll break up in the groups. And so they'll, they'll have a colony over here and a colony over there and a colony over there. And they will spread. And these Pharaoh ants, and, and, and I got the, felt the anointing when I, even when I was reading, these Pharaoh ants have spread it throughout the world. Wow. They are all over the world, mainly in tropical places, but now they're all over the world. And they came out of Africa. They came out of Africa. Out of East. And I remember that there was this cat named Abraham. And Abraham was sitting over there worshiping the moon. He wasn't bothering nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all said, leave everybody. Yes. And come with me. And I'll show you where to go. And he told Abraham, your seed is going to be spread throughout the whole earth. Mm. Abraham was over there near Africa. Close to it. He just spit over there and spit on it. <laughs> when I first moved where I stayed at, so I said, where you stay at? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know if I can stay out of my front door and spit on the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's all I can tell him. I ain't know where I was at. I said, no, sir. I said, welcome to the cab. We all get time for you guys. <laughs> but anyway, you should, you know, anyway, the, the, these, these ants have spread it throughout the whole world. Oh, thank you. And Abraham, his seed, the father said, was spread throughout. He said, and, and this is what got me. He said, you know, if, if you look at the dirt, you're going to be as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Yes. Look at the stars. Tell me, can you number them? They're going to be many as the stars in the sky. And I was looking at that. So, you know, we always talk about the stars in the sky. I always talk about spiritual things. The stars I always talk about the sons of God. And they always talk about, you know, being spiritual. So, I like, so Abraham put offspring or rain throughout the universe. Yeah. And come to the earth. Yeah. And I think about the ants. And then I thought about that one son, the descendant of Abraham, uh -huh. the seed, the root, and the offspring of David. Yes. He came along and he told everybody standing at, 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 at Jerusalem, he said, this gospel of the kingdom shall go throughout all the land. Yes. Throughout all the world. And then the end shall come. And then he said, as the Father sent me, now listen to me. Yes. He said, so I send you. He said, go and testify of me. Yes. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. And I think about that. The ants, the ants from Africa, out of Africa, they don't even know where, mm. spread all the way around the world. And the gospel of the kingdom has spread all over the world. Wow. And I said, hey, I'm from Africa somewhere. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's what Abraham and me. Yeah. Might be Jewish, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I got the word in me. Yeah. Me and that ant got something in common. Yeah. And see, what makes the Pharaoh ants different from other ants, the Pharaoh ant put out a seed that food can get. What? It fooled other ants so the other ants can't get his food. Wow. So when they sit out, they sitting them. Only those that got a ear to hear can hear. Oh. And Yeshua said, men are called, but few are chosen. Wow. Only the chosen can hear. He that has an ear to hear. Yes. Just like those Pharaoh hands. It ain't for everybody. This gospel, not, not yours. <laughs> this gospel of the king. Yeshua said it like this. You can't come to me unless my father draw you. Yes. So I ain't worried about it. Oh. And then he looked at his boys. He said, Will you leave me also? <laughs> and he said, I don't know what kind of crack you smoking in the building. I don't know where else can I go. <laughs> he said, You got the words of life, man. I ain't going nowhere. Yes. I thought about Elijah. He told Elijah, I ain't going nowhere. I just want to preach. Yes. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, man. And I told my father. I ain't going to know. Yes. Did you tell him that? Yes. 
Did you tell me? Yes. Maybe somebody said I told you. I told you. Go and give Father Hayden up. Woo! 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 I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, oh, yeah. Come on, Elder Fife. Oh, my wife started shooting. Oh, all right. <laughs> Come on, put those hands together for your hands out of us. I am amazed about what the Father does with Revelation. And, you know, it's been such an influx of ants in different apartment complex. It's amazing to me. I was talking to my sister. She they having problems with ants in our apartment complex, problems First with no. ants. So now I have a lot of ants to stay <laughs> They just be going around, and all the stuff he was talking about, he's like, you know, one is sending a signal out there, and then the other was a turn around and come. I was noticing, and I was like, what is that thing doing? You know, different. But anyway, the father's amazing, but they they gotta get out of there. But um, <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, come on, one more time. Let's get ready to hear what the uh, father has to say through brother. What? Brother who? Big Mac. You got an announcement ready yet? Announcements? Hey man, this is RTF. The truth is 47. 47. 47. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. 
and do what he says. Do what he says. Do what he says. Mm. All right. Give me other things, Preston. Hello, now. Come on. Oh, man, come on. Let's stand to our feet and we're going to be dismissed. Not the hands, the feet. Camera. <laughs> yes. Come on, let us pray. I'm not looking at you, Terrell. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word on tonight. We thank you for the instructions. We thank you for the encouragement, Father. And for just letting us know that we can do exactly what you called us to do. We give you praise for who you are and just making it so plain to us. We ask that you seal that word within us, Father, and that we'll go and we'll produce that that you called to produce. We thank you for your protection as we each one of us go to our various places of destination. We give you praise and glory for who you are, Father. And we come together on one mind and one accord and we lift our pastor up to you. We ask, Father, that you will touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet and restore the virtue that has gone out of him on tonight. Father, we thank you for your blessings overtaking him, Father. We thank you for your continuing to use him for your glory, that you will be glorified in every part of his life. Thank you for your peace in developing him in the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, look to your neighbor and say, ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. You know what? You know what? The truth. The truth. It is. It is. What it is. What it is. Amen. When you, when you dismiss, just, just a word of God, the Holy Spirit said, just remember, you, wherever you go, you're, you're leaving a trailer with you. And if you haven't caught on to it yet, that everything you do is being seen. It's being seen. So as you walk along, the enemy sees what you're doing, and, and well as y'all see what you're doing. And some of you are so quick to get off the path, because it's like when the, when the anointing, when Moses got off the mountain and he was faded, the anointing faded off of him. That's how the anointing do some of you guys as you leave here and then you forget who you are. Always remember who you are. Speak a word every day of faith and walk in. And don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. I don't care how hard it gets. Don't lose hope. Amen. Amen. Remember that. Remember it's important. Remember that. Amen. You're dismissed. Thank <laughs> you.